it is our third day here in Corfu and today the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day and we're going to go and explore Mouse Island. We're going to take a boat over there and then after that we're going to go walk in and around the Corfu Old Town. First though we've decided to stop off in Ponte Canisi restaurant for a nice bite to eat but it's amazing because we've got this incredible view. We can also watch the planes take off and land from here. He was going to Gatwick. There you go. on Mouse Island. Took a quick boat over there for 250. Apparently this island is full of mice, rats. That's not true, ignore me on that. Hmm. Should I do a candied on it? Let me have a go. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. So we're on Mouse Island, there's not really much Mossy to Island. do here, yeah Mozzie Island is what it should be called because ugh, they are everywhere, all over your legs, look you can actually just see them, they're just landing on us, we're just That's constantly, yeah exactly just there, all, all right, over us, I'm run now. so get out my way, this is actually known as Mozzie Island, there's a small monastery up there and that's all and it's arm's length width but we need to get back on that boat because get off this island. Let's go. So after having driven the boat back for us, we're going to have a look at the second monastery now. We had a look at the one on Mouse Island, which was tiny, not really much to see there. And then we've got the second one here. Well, the Greek guys in Corfu all got together and decided one day, you know what, we're a bit bored. What we're going to do is let's have a competition to see which monument or church or crappiest <laughs> thing you can actually yeah. uh, put down to get tourists to come to and uh, this is what we'll they came up with somebody came up with this one <laughs> and I think they were probably the winner and this is what you got what do you think? Did you enjoy that? yeah you get a prize for you you were the winner mate <laughs> cannot lie highly disappointed and the only thing worth seeing was this aeroplane and that is probably one of the cooler things about Corfu and coming to Mouse Island. You get to see the planes take off and arrive. Where else do you get to do that? Since we were done over here, we decided it was time to head over to the Old Town. And here we are in Corfu Old Town, about to go to Marina's Tavern and it is pretty busy finding a car parking space, surprisingly. No people. Even though there's very few people, as you can see. There's apparently a big mosquito bite has appeared. Where is it? Big ridge, massive. A big ridge swelling. of mosquito swelling. So use that on any area of your body, it's stitching now. That's my entire body. This is what happens, you go to Mouse Island, you end up itching everywhere with swellings everywhere. And that is why you need this. I'm putting insect repellent on. Your face? Oh, Do you get bitten on your face? No, because I always put insect repellent on it. <laughs> this is borikakia. It's an authentic Greek thing. What is it? Phyllo pastry. Be careful when you buy into it. Apparently it's very, very hot. It's got like meat inside. Spices, cheese. Chili. It's good. Chili. You know, it's a bit like a meat samosa, a Greek version. And we ordered the grilled octopus and the bordetto, which is like a spicy fish dish. He wasn't a fan of the bordetto. I couldn't eat it. You couldn't I eat it? I literally could not mm. eat either the fish the or the yeah. pasta that it came with. You like it, the bordetto? Yes, no, thank you horrible. very much. Well, I really liked the fish. He hated the texture. Really, really nice place to come to. It's in this nice little courtyard. The tables are all outside. You're not going to be sat in the sun, but it's a pleasant place to come and sit and enjoy a nice lunch with some wine. Very authentic. What she said. That is Albania, that there. If you want to know what travel is according to my dad, I suggested we go to the new fortress and what did you say? 
pile of old bricks. <laughs> Same as all the museums, the the, yeah. room of old tat. I think he wants to go into a gallery because that's just a load of old photos, isn't it? No, pictures. Museum of Asian Art. Museum of Asian Art, oh yeah, because it says that on the sign. We're in the center of, um, center of Corfu town, Corfu Old Town. The old fortress is over there, which is where we're going over to now and this is also a unesco heritage site and you can probably see why because it is very very old constructed of maltese stone and it was built in the 19th century by the british when the british ruled the ionian islands after the british who owned this island uh, the ionian islands were all reunified with greece but then who owned this island after the british the venetians the venetians owned it Okay, correction. The Venetians owned it before the British. Then the British owned it after the Venetians. And now the Greeks own it, of course. What do you reckon, no? No. Big thumbs down. Big thumbs down. To years we don't recognise any of the places here in Corfu town is because when we first came 40 years ago, we only had eyes for each other. Oh, God. For goodness sake, that was appalling. And um, this is the People's Garden where you'll find people. Oh, now he's swinging it. <laughs> no, he's not. It's not ringing. Really. Yeah, he's not. Look at him go. Blimey, he's really up. I'm going to go like that. Aussie Mordor. He lived, in the, he lived in the bell tower, didn't he? There's a Greek. Corfiat Quasimodo. Corfiat Quasimodo. Corfu Quasimodo. Who's that? Oh. Who is it? Oh. Corfu Quasimodo, I said. Oh, sorry, who's the, cor the, the Corfu Quasimodo? It's the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't think Quasimodo anybody... was the Hunchback of Notre Dame and lived in the bell tower of uh, that cathedral that burned down last year. <laughs> yeah. Notre Dame. Yeah. Did anybody else know that, or is it? Of course. I didn't know that. In England, bell ringers have big uh, ropes that come down in, from the belfry down into the bottom and they all pull the ropes to so ring the bell. So what's wrong with what he's doing? Well, it's like they haven't got enough money to pay for ropes. So what we have noticed is there is a... Oh, you really like to jump in, don't you? So what we have noticed is there is a major lack of any kind of real old Greek architecture on Corfu, on this island. It's very, like there is a, you can definitely see the Venetian resemblance and the architecture from that and British. <laughs> Why? Yeah, British brickwork, you're right. Yeah, so as we are walking through the old fortress, you can definitely see the influence of British ownership of Corfu because this building here especially definitely has the same brickwork. What else looks British? All these lights on top of here. Yeah. After having reveled in the success of our ancestors, as every British patriot does when they go absolutely anywhere, we decided to make our way from the old fortress to the old town. So directly over here in the Spionada in the Spionada Park, we've got the Liston, which is like a broad walk, is that what you call it? French influenced passageway it's nice in there you can go and grab a coffee grab a drink grab a cup of tea even or of course you can find a mcdonald's if you're feeling really cultural this is authentic stuff here these jelly things what are these mini oranges so these are yeah. mini oranges mm. lovely better than that fish like orange li liquid inside, orange juice inside. It's like actual orange. Fresh kumquats. Ooh, so these are the fresh ones that come straight off the tree. These mini things here. Since it was starting to get late and really quite cold actually, even for us Brits, we decided to head to a restaurant in Benitzi's that was recommended by the Telegraph. Yep, that's a raw fish that they bring to your table. Voila. He doesn't look like this. I'm not saying you can sit there. 
Potatoes, garlic, onions, very garlicky, very peppery. It's beige and it looks like it's not going to be that delicious, but when you taste it, it's so full of flavor. It's very Greek, very authentic, and do you know what? Very, very impressed.